Hi, and welcome to another Excel video with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to look at a methodology that we can use to sum only the rounded version of values contained in a series of cells. So to, to illustrate why this is useful, if you take a look at the following uh, set of numbers, and you can pause the video and set up your own set of numbers if you'd like to follow along with your own spreadsheet. So imagine needing to sum those amounts with a normal sum formula. Of course, just equals sum open paren, and we select that range and close paren. And we get a value that reflects the actual sum of that data. But let's say for some reason we need to uh, limit the number of displayed decimal points. So we select the range of data B2 through B5 and uh, we use the decrease decimal. So uh, what you have to understand about using that is you haven't actually changed the value in the cells. You've just limited the amount of visual decimal points which kind of does a visual rounding so the numbers appear rounded but if you were to look in the formula bar for these numbers those uh, original values are still there which is why the total doesn't tie out to match exactly uh, what you see above you'd have to then reduce the the value uh, or the number of display decimals here so the, the challenge comes in when you have data that has been uh, visually formatted to only show X number of decimal points but you have a total or other formula that's actually grabbing the real values in the cells if someone adjusts the number of displayed decimals the numbers don't actually tie out and that could be a problem if you're comparing this data to values from say another uh, system or you're comparing against a paper-based report and uh, you're doing some error checking this could really throw you off so we want to actually only sum the rounded values or the rounded versions of those values. So to illustrate, let's create another column. I'm going to call this column rounded amounts. And uh, in this column, I will actually use the round formula. I'm going to put these values back at their original number of decimal points. And then in cell C2, I'll use the round formula to round the value to the right, or to the left rather, to two decimal points. Uh, so basically that rounds and doesn't give you any values beyond uh, the hundredth uh, spot. So there's no point in having those additional three zeros. So I'm going to reduce that down and I'll fill the formula down. So now if I do a sum formula, we can see that the summed value of the rounded versions uh, is going to be uh, a bit different, right? So if we had the, the, the rounded version uh, here let's actually go let's actually go down a level let's go down uh, to one decimal point of precision so I'm going to say one decimal point of precision and fill that down rather than the two so it makes it a little bit more obvious so by using one decimal point of precision we can see that the sum value is only 9.8 or it comes to 9.8 rather than the 9.7 with these additional values because it's you know tracking those same numbers in other words Let's truncate this down to one decimal point visually. If I were to truncate these values down to one decimal point visually, they look like the same values as we have in column C, but they're not. And so then these values don't work out to be the same. Okay, it's not, it's not the same setup. I mean, if I trim it down, we get that. But if I wanted to display additional values, I see them. Whereas here, adding additional decimal points, it stays at 9.0. So that's the dilemma. We want this cell to actually sum up only the rounded that version of the values in column B and so we're going to use an array formula to make it happen so in cell B6 uh, I'm going to type the following equation uh, equal sum and then within my sum formula I'm going to use the round function against uh, the four values B2 through B5 uh, comma 1 decimal point or one digit of precision uh, close paren on the round formula close paren for the sum function and now here's the tricky part to create an array formula you have to press control uh, shift and enter together and this is going to turn this into an array formula which has the effect 
of running the round function against those values b2 through b5 and since that's contained inside the sum formula then that's what's being summed uh, so control shift enter and then you see we get 9.8 even though the number of displayed decimals goes out so now it actually ties out if someone had rounded those numbers or if they just visually trimmed them down to show only one digit after the decimal point the number actually ties out now uh, no matter how many decimal points are used to display okay we can change that and it still stays at 9.8 because we're summing the rounded version of those numbers okay so that's an array formula to sum the rounded version of values in cells Thanks for tuning in, guys, and please come back soon for more Excel videos.